Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a camera lean when moving left and right in Unreal Engine 5. This effect is super common in FPS games as it adds movement flair and makes your game feel way more dynamic and responsive. Now I actually showed this system in my Quake style movement video, but this tutorial is meant to be a cleaner and easier to follow version. So let's just jump right in. Okay, so this is the gameplay right here. As you can see, our character can lean from side to side. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So uh, first, you want to go into your first person character and it should look something like this. Grab an event tick node and drag it out to a new function and call it lean. Uh, to make a new function, just go to the left side, click this plus icon right here and call it lean right there. And then just drag it out like this and there you go. Um, so we're going to click into this lean and this is everything that is in the function. It's not a lot, I promise. So let's go over it real quick. So this first part here is just the condition to actually start leaning. So if it's true, we can lean. If it's false, we'll stop leaning. So first right here, we get the velocity of the actor and then get the vector length. And then from there, we're going to see if it's greater than a certain value. So for me, I just said 200 uh, because my movement speed is around 600, I believe. So, but you could just say it's greater than zero. It doesn't really matter as long as it's not uh, a bigger number than your actual movement speed. And then what you want to do is you want to get IA move. This comes from uh, the event graph over in this movement input right here, where it says IA move. It gets these two values right here. Uh, so if you type in get IA move, and then it should look something like this, right? What you want to do is you want to right click and split the struct pin like that and grab the X from that right there. And then we're going to check if it's not equal to zero. So this just means that if it equals zero, that means that we're staying still. If it, and the only other two values it can be is one and negative one. So meaning left and right. So uh, that's good right there. And the next what you want to do is you want to get the character movement. Uh, so what you can do is just drag out the character movement right here. Just drag that out like that. And then check if it is falling. And then get a not boolean out of that and plug it into this and boolean right here and of course you need to add pins just click this add button if you want to add more conditions but these are just the ones that i'm going to have right here and then from there we're going to plug this into a branch like this and then out of the true what we're going to do is we're going to get that ia move again like we had before and then we're going to put it into a compare float node right here uh, and we're going to compare it with zero. So this just is checking again if the X value is uh, one or negative one. And if it's one, then we're going to lean to the right. If it's negative one, we're going to lean to the left. And if it is zero, which would be over here, it's going to stop leaning. So now we're going to make this lean settings macro right here. So to make a new macro, just go to the left side right here where it says macros. Click this plus sign and you're going to name it to lean settings and here's we're going to make it look something like this don't worry it's not too much let me actually move these just to make it look a bit easier so first you want to come to this inputs tab right here and you want to make three variables one is an executive pin and two are float pins you want to name the first float to target x roll and the second one to interp speed and then after it looks something like this, what you want to do is get the player controller. And now from that, you want to get the player control rotation twice. So you get one right here and one right here. And then you want to get an R interp2 node. So this is like a rotator interp2. And this just helps the rotation of the camera to smoothly lurk between two points. So you want to get uh, the first one and output it to the current. And then next, what you want to do is for the target, you want to split this value and you want to split the second control rotation and plug in the Z value and the Y value. And then for the X value, you want to plug in that target X roll. So I just made two reroute pins right here to make a reroute pin, just to double click on a line and you can do it just like that. Make it look something like this. And then next for Delta time, drag out a get world Delta seconds and plug it in there. And then for the interp speed, you want it to be in this interp speed like that. And then from there, you want to get another player controller. 
and then create a set control rotation node and plug in the values accordingly like that. And then we're going to go back to the lean function and you're going to make three lean settings. So just drag out that lean settings and make three of them. Uh, this one is going to stop leaning. So what we want to do is set this target X rotation or roll to zero and the inter speed to five. So the target X roll is how far the camera moves or how far it rotates. And the inter speed is how fast it rotates. So for this one, we're going to set the target X roll to zero. And I'm going to set all the interp speeds to five, but you can change that if you'd like. Um, and then over here to the right, we're going to lean five to the right. So I set this equal to five. And for the left, we're going to lean negative five because it's the left direction. Now, if you want to lean farther, you can set this value to 10, 20, whatever. Just make sure that it's the same on this one. Just make it negative. And there you go. That's the entire uh, function right here. Just make sure in the event graph that this lean function is connected to an event tick and now you should be done. So if you come back out here, your character should start to lean and it won't be able to lean in the air only on the ground like that. And yeah, there we go. If you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and comment if you have any problems and I will see you guys in the next video.